I lied with Drake lied. <laughs> Khaled just literally spreading his cheeks and bobbing on that shit. Hey, that I was, was gonna so say. What's good, YouTube? I am back with another video. We need to clap it up, clap it up. Second video of the day. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. Just chat family the ma. I know I got a little energy. I had a little coffee, but it's a Sunday fun day. Anywho, we got academics say DJ Khaled is meat riding, dick riding, Drake. Y'all let me know how it is. Before you even skip, before you even get into this, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. If you don't do those three things, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, make sure you like the video. Alright? Because if you don't do those three things, I need you to do those three things. Alright? Anywho, we got academics, Drake, Khaled. Anywho, let's get up right up into it. I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. JJ family, the ma. Uh, let's get into it, buddy. Let's get right into it. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Give me a kiss. Say this, man. Love y'all. If Dick Ryder was a sports, this nigga got to be Michael Phelps or Usain Bolt, nigga. I got to play this clip, nigga. If Dick Ryder was a nigga, got to be Serena Williams. Let me play this fucking clip. And once I heard this, it made sense. Hear this shit. Khaled talks about working with Drake. Yeah, yeah, I gotta hear this shit. Super close to you. When you work with Drake, if you're blessed to even work, right? You, you even <laughs> thank you. So you talking real talk? When you're blessed to work with Drake, if he sends you something, mm. it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's facts. Don't fight it. Yeah. The other day was mixing. Yo, how you like the mix? You know what I'm saying? Even if I wanted to turn the hi hat up, mm. even if I thought. This is nasty. Like, Khaled just literally spreading his cheeks and bobbing on that shit. Hey, I was gonna say, like, what is going on? Because Khaled, and Khaled's a big artist, too. Khaled would be a, considered, like, a big artist, huge artist, like, near Drake level. At least, like, Lil Baby, right? Am I tripping? One is disgusting. This oh. nigga, I lied <laughs> with Drake lied. <laughs> That's right. That's he crazy. Just one part ah, that's crazy. That specifically is crazy. Uh, Khaled is I. Khaled is I know Cal. Let me. Let me. Let me see. He's forty-seven. Drake is 36, 37, 38. One of them. Y'all let me know. I don't, I don't fucking know. But he's 37, Cali. Come on now. That's, this is unacceptable. And I thought I could change. Yeah. Drake, you like that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to be a little bit nuanced in, in my opinion on that, right? Um, and so let's wrap it up our podcast. Let me be a little bit nuanced with that and, and just say this. If you are a DJ, a producer, or an artist to work with the biggest artist in the game, it's not only Drake. If you got a chance to work with Bad Bunny, that artist is so big in comparison to what your career is probably like. It's you are fortunate and you don't want to fuck it up or fumble the ball. That, that should be understood. Right? But I gotta say, hearing Khaled say that, and Khaled, I think Khaled is, is someone who's been putting out anthems for over a decade. I respect, even if you say he don't produce or whatever the case is, I do respect his musical ear. But this is the reason why I think the last couple Drake songs with him have been atrocious. The only, the only decent one is the one that pretty much Drake should have dropped by himself, which was Grease. Everything else Drake is giving to Khaled ain't that good. <laughs> now, this has come a long way from when Drake was giving Khaled some of the best shit. But now it feels like Khaled, like you just phoning it into him. And this is why these records sound like this. The Staying Alive record is trash. It, it is. It's, it's garbage. Garbage. Not good. And if Khaled maybe had a relationship with Drake, because at this point... Drake is somebody you just normally work with. If you could push Drake to either give you a better record, cut a better record, mm. or make a better song, we would get better songs. But when we listen to it, we're, we're listening to some stale, 
yo, I'm doing my man's a favor type shit. Even if you listen to um um Lil Baby's verse on the record, it all don't feel like oh niggas is coming with the heat. It it feels like oh this nigga's bugging me for a song. Let me just let me phone it in type of shit. And what? that's why what? I feel that though. I feel that. I think that type of mindset comes in. Um, that mindset of never like you know trying to challenge an artist. I'm not saying you gotta be like yo Drake this whack, but that mindset of saying everything that Drake does is fucking amazing. That's you crazy. Know I mean? Like as a grown man, why I don't think we've had a Khaled Drake great joint in a while. Well, I can feel that. I can see that. I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm. Let me know how y'all feel about that. I don't know. It, it, did DJ Khaled really do too much on this? Did he did he say too much? Did he dick ride too much in his interview on Drake? And he Drake not even you know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below if y'all think DJ Khaled dick ride too much on Drake. Uh, let me know if that stand alive song with him and Baby Drake Baby and uh, Khaled is good. Just let me know in the comments how y'all feel about each and. Every situation. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. J Trap Family the Mob. Yes, it's only six minutes. But guess what? I'm posting another one. I'm posting another one. I'm posting another one. Alright. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. We ain't even stand at the eight minutes. I know we can talk it out. Actually, let's talk it out. Actually, let's talk it out. We can talk it out. Actually, let's finish. Let's finish this. Shit. The best song on Khaled's uh, um, album. Obviously, it was the one with, with Jay. And um, I'm pretty sure he didn't say nothing to Jay either. Mm -hmm. But then I'd be thinking about, what the fuck is Khaled doing? If you're not telling these artists, like, nigga, that shit was whack. Or maybe not in those words, but like, bro, yo, could you come a little bit harder or, or not? How about, like, instead of rapping here, how about singing here? Like, if you're not doing things that normally a producer would do, you right. already don't make the beat. Where well, you know, You're just a curator. You're just collecting the records to put them out. I don't know. Once I saw this shit, it just made sense why the last few efforts with Drake and Khaled been lukewarm. I get it. Khaled has turned into one of the yes, one of the OVO yes men. Oh my gosh. That's it. Lord. I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie though. I would definitely be an OVO yes man though. I would be an OVO yes man. I know OVO niggas get paid. They get paid for sure. Like, for sure. Anyway, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. We got like 15 more seconds to 8 minutes. So, I mean, like, let's just think about what we're doing today. Today, I woke up. Today, I got Starbucks. Today, I uh, made some money. Today, I uh, did what I was supposed to do. And now, we have 3 seconds to 8 o'clock. I'm into 8 minutes. And now, we can end the video. I love y'all. New video coming.